you've probably heard the term turbocharger before, and maybe supercharger as well. You probably also know these have something to do with adding power to a vehicle's engine. But do you know what they actually are and how they work? Let's find out. Let's focus first on turbochargers. A turbocharger, or simply turbo, can essentially be thought of as a highly engineered fan, compressing and blowing air into the engine as it spins. But what's great about it is that it does this without requiring any power for itself. That's because it's mounted onto the exhaust line right after the cylinders, so the engine's own exhaust output is what spins it, which in turn pushes more air back into the engine and on and on, creating a remarkably clever self-powered loop. That said, because of this design, some turbos can suffer from something called lag, which essentially means it can take a moment before the exhaust can get it spinning fast enough for the added power to kick in. Similarly, superchargers also work by forcing extra air into the engine as they operate. But their design isn't quite the same. Instead of being driven by the exhaust like a turbocharger, they're connected by a belt directly to the engine. So when the engine spins, so does the supercharger. On one hand, this means no lag, which is great, but on the other, it means it's taking some energy away from the engine to operate, so the supercharger needs to make up for this deficit first before actually producing any extra power. This means it's not quite as efficient as a turbo, where all the extra power is free, in a manner of speaking. So that's a quick look at the concept behind forced induction, turbochargers, and superchargers.